This program is made by the volunteers at Math Circle Online. Please join us to explore the wonders of math. Hi, I'm Oliver Jang, and today I'll be showing you how to solve problem number 25 from the 2015 AMC 8. So the problem reads, one inch squares are cut from the corners of a five inch square. So um, these small squares have length one inch, and this large square has length 5 inches. Okay, What is the area in square inches of the largest square that can be fitted in the remaining space? So um, the, this largest square is found, um, is the square such that its vertice lies on the edges of the big square and its edges pass through the vertices of the small square. Okay. So something like that. So um, the rest of the square will look something like this. So um, this is the second, second edge. Here's the third one. And then here's the fourth one. Okay. So one thing we must notice is that there's another way to orient this square. It could also look like this. So um, without loss of generality, we're going to assume that this vertice is to the left of the halfway point. All right, so um, there are two approaches to, look to solving this area. So um, the first approach is addition. So we can add together um, convenience areas. We can also do subtraction, where we subtract the convenient areas. So um, the most intuitive way um, from looking at this is to subtract, because um, it's very easy to find the area of this big blue square. It's just 5 times 5 equals 25. So once we find the area of the big blue square, we can subtract the areas of each of these four triangles. Um, and because of symmetry, each of these triangles have the same area, so we just have to find the area of one of them and then multiply it by 4. So um, right now, we don't know anything about this triangle, so we can create some variables. So let's call that this length right here, let's call that x. So this is x. By symmetry, um, this length right here is also x. So right here is x. So, um, because the length of this big square is 5, this right here is 5, so this length right here is 5 minus x. So, we now know, we, we know the lengths of the base and the height of the triangle that we're looking for. Um, but we don't know how to create an equation for this. So, um, when we're looking for equations from triangles, Generally, you want to look for similar triangles. So where do we have similar triangles? Um, well, we can look at this tiny triangle right here. This tiny triangle is similar to this big triangle. So um, we know the height of this triangle is 1 because it is just the side length of the square. We also know that the base of the triangle right here is just x minus 1. So this is x minus 1. Okay, so now we can create an equation for x. So um, the height of the big triangle, 5 minus x, over the base of the big triangle equals the height of the small triangle over the base of the small triangle. Okay, so we can cross multiply. So we get 5 minus x times x minus 1 equals x. So this simplifies into negative x squared plus 6x minus 5 equals x. Um, and then you can, uh, this further simplifies into 0 equals x squared minus 5x plus 5. So by the quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared 
minus 4ac. So minus 4ac. So okay, and all of this is divided by 2a, which is just 2. Okay, and this simplifies into 5 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. So now we have a problem. We have a problem because there are two solutions for x. So in the beginning, we assume that x is to the right, I mean to the left of the halfway point. So this halfway point is 5 over 2. So x must be less than 5 over 2. So um, that implies that this must be subtraction. So um, now we want to find the height of the triangle, 5 minus x. So 5 minus x equals um, 5 minus x, which is 5 minus root 5 over 2. And this simplifies into 5 plus root 5 over 2, um, which makes sense because um, that's just having x as this length right here, which should, which should be 5 over 5 minus x. So now we seek the area of this triangle. So we do base times height over 2. So base times height over 2 equals um, x times 5 minus x over 2. So this equals x right here. times 5 minus x, which is right here. And all of this is divided by 2. And this simplifies into 5 over 2. Okay, so now we look for the 25, which is the area of the big square, minus 4 times the area of the small square. So um, 25 minus 4 times the area of the small square, which is 5 over 2. And this simplifies into 15. So this area of this square right here is 15. So um, our answer is C, 15. Okay, so that's how you do subtraction to find this area. Um, there's actually, the addition method is actually much easier, although it's harder to spot at first. So, um, okay, so for the subtraction, we want to divide this area into easy to find areas. So, um, we can create this square right here. Um, so, because this length right here is just 1, this length right here is 1, and then the entire length is 5. We know that the length of this square in the middle is 3. So the area of this square is 3 times 3 equals 9. And then we have to add these triangles right here. So the area of one of these triangles, and the base of one of these triangles is 3 because it's shared with the square, and then the height is just 1 because it's the same as the length of the small square. So the area of the small triangle is 3 times 1 over 2, so that equals 3 over 2. So now all we have to do is add up 4 of the small triangles, so that's 4 times 3 over 2, plus the area of the square, which is 9, and that also simplifies into 15. So the answer is the same for both. Thank you for watching.